little bit more graceful than our friends on the Today Show. But uh, I'd like to introduce uh, John Piper, who's the Vice President and Creative Director of Macy's Thanksgiving. John? Good afternoon, Jimmy. Hey, everybody. Having a great time here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, for me and Chloe, it's just a little bit warmer than we're used to up north, but we're having a great time. As you can see, she's 25 feet tall, filled with air that continuously pumps inside of her. She's a combination of Macy Magic balloon and vehicle. So she's able to transverse the entire parade route entirely on her own with a little guidance from a pilot out front as my friend Carmen was helping me today so I didn't bump into anybody's tripods. At this point, does anybody have any questions, uh, Chloe? Yeah. What's your question? Are you wondering how old she is? One year. Brand new balloonicle. Joined the Thanksgiving Day Parade for the first time in 2014, our 88th annual parade, and then packed up and came right down here to Orlando to continue the fun. Yes? Yeah, what was the inspiration for Chloe? How did, how did, we, how did Chloe come to us? How did Chloe come to life? Chloe actually began as one of Macy's own characters as one of our balloons in the sky filled with helium. She's Chloe the Holiday Clown. She brings cheer to all the good boys and girls around the world and helps a certain guy in a red suit to make the holidays all the more special. So she was a balloon in the parade for a number of years but decided that she wanted to become something that could come a little bit closer to the kids and so she was a balloon girl this year. Other questions? Yes, sir. Can I tell you how it works inside? Yes. It's an inflatable on top of a vehicle with a little bit of Macy magic so that it keeps going down the parade route. Actually, yes, there is a battery powered unit inside that takes a hard pressure blower that is continually pumping air up inside all of Chloe, except it's not pumping air into the vehicle. The vehicle gets its own air from underneath. So if you can sort of imagine, there is a balloon up over the vehicle that then becomes Chloe up on top of that. It's really quite a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. For um, more than 30 years, a fine gentleman named Jim Arnold led our balloon team of balloonatics at the Macy Parade Studio. And uh, we sadly lost him to ALS this past year. And in tribute to Jimmy and all of the years of service to the parade, we have attached ribbons of memory to Chloe's hat. And uh, one of them says, for Jimmy, and the other ones were signed by all of the balloonatics that he has worked with for more than 25 years, including the pilots who he worked with and trained here at Universal have signed ribbon as well. So Jimmy's ribbons flew in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and they're flying here at Universal in tribute to a very great man. What does it take to become a balloonatic, and what's the most fun part of that job? Well, I'll answer them in reverse order. Obviously, the most fun part of that job is every day you get to play with the Macy's Balloons. Um, the balloonatics are our artist engineers at the parade studio who, day in and day out, take care of these gentle giants, making sure that all of the seams are closed, that all the paint's touched up, that all of the lines that are attached to the balloons are rolled correctly, and taking each balloon that is in the parade and putting it through a whole quality control check to make sure that it's ready for the next parade, which we call Parade Ready. So they're constantly working on the balloons. And how do you become a balloonatic? Send me your resume. <laughs> what else? Do you have a question? Come here, Dan. Come here and ask me your question. What's your name? Jeremy. Jer Is it Jeremy? Okay, Jeremy, how old are you? Seven. Seven? You know, when I was your age, I was eight. <laughs> you like that one? 
You're Jonathan and you're seven two. You're almost like a thing one and a thing two. Those are very popular down here. Jeremy, did you have a question about Chloe? Does it have wheels? Because it's what we call. You, have you ever seen the Macy's Parade on television? Well, you're going to get to see it today here in Universal Orlando. We have these giant balloons that fly in the air. All these wonderful characters like hippopotamuses and stars and candy canes and even a guy we call Big Man Santa. So those are balloons. And we had this idea of putting a balloon with a vehicle. And vehicles have wheels, right? And so we called it a balloonicle. And you know why? Because vehicloon just sounded weird. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it wouldn't quite work. What else can I tell you? Yes, ma'am? To create something this long, how long does something like that take? How long does it take to create something like this? Well, with Chloe, since we already had a design from the balloon, this actually was a little bit easier for us, except that we always have to tailor every one of the inflatables for Macy's custom to the environment that's needed, such as... We had to take the balloon and make it fit into the balloonical format over the vehicle. So we had to change her legs and her shoes just a little bit in the scaling. But to answer your question more directly, this took about six months from the time that we were putting pencil to paper and then into the computer and then models and then patterning and so forth. With some of the balloons, we have to take into consideration things like we wanted Happy the Hippo to come down here to Universal, which means Happy the Hippo needed to go through all of the regular Macy um, spectrum of making sure that the artistic um, portions of it were perfect from every viewpoint, because in New York they're seen from way down low with little guys like right over here, and I'll come for your question in just a second. So all the way up in the balconies and overhead and from 360, so they've got to look beautiful from all around, but there's a lot of engineering that goes into it as well. There's a, a lot of working out pressure differentials and volume calculations and center of buoyancy and a whole bunch of stuff that's not nearly as fun as just making sure that they look good. Then, if we want to bring them here to play at Universal Studios Orlando, they've got to fit in and out a 20 by 20 door that is what they call an elephant door because once upon a time I think they actually took elephants in and out of it but our hippo is much bigger than an elephant and she just barely makes it through so we had that extra amount of making sure that she would fit into that profile and be able to be stored overnight because today's not your only chance all through December in fact I think all the way to January 3rd you can see the parade here every single day and you had a question I like your minion shirt. Oh, that's a great question. Here, can you say that into the microphone so everybody can hear it? How come, How come there's so many colors on Chloe? That's because she's part of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and we love big, beautiful colors. She's got yellow because she likes to say yellow everybody <laughs> and she's got a lot of red and green and whites because those are holiday colors and she's Chloe the holiday clown and if you you can't see so much from your vantage point but maybe when we take her back in you'll be able to see she's got beautiful rosy cheeks and perfectly painted lips and a white face and beautiful eye makeup that all of the European clowns wear so she's um, sort of a, a look back at our own history when the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade began in 1924. It was called the Macy's Christmas Parade. And it was put on by all of the uh, employees of Macy's for their families and friends. And so many of them were immigrants from, uh, from Europe and, and around the world. And that's why they wanted to do a parade. That was part of their heritage, is celebrating the holidays with some big festival and parades and pageants. And you know what? It just caught on. And to this day, the people you see marching in the parade, holding the lines on the balloons, walking along the floats, being clowns like Chloe, are employees of Macy's. Now, of course, we've grown a little bit. So <laughs> each employee can sponsor somebody who's usually their spouse 
or a very good friend uh, who comes and does the parade with it. We have nearly nearly a thousand clowns, uh, 12 giant marching bands from all across the country. This past year we had 26 giant floats, 16 giant balloons, 21 medium-sized balloons like the ones that you'll see here at Universal, like the Hippo and the Candy King, and, uh, and just a whole lot of fun. Any other questions? Yeah, how, yes. many, how many cubic feet of air does this thing have in it? Excellent question. How many cubic feet of air? You know, we don't usually worry about that calculation with the balloonicles because it's not as um, important as it is with the helium balloons. Uh, but Chloe is based on, she's based on her original size, but we also had to bring her down so she would fit backstage. I believe she's right around 1,800 cubic feet. But that, of course, is being resupplied all the time to the fan. Whereas the giant character balloons that you'll see are filled with helium that stays in them all the time. And our balloonatics work very hard to uh, make sure that every chamber on the balloon is sealed to 100%. The tiniest of holes can allow helium to go out because it's such a small molecule. So we work very, very, very hard to make sure that they're very, 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 very closed. Any other questions? Thanks, John. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so right now, guys, we're going to drop the rope. We're going to let you guys have uh, a few minutes to take some photos, peek your head inside. Um, and if you'd like to have any more questions for John, just let me know and we'll take care of that. So all about 10 minutes here or so for you guys to interact with you. Thank you. Yay.